in this lecture we'll be discussing uh, about pressure it is a quantity that actually tells you the density of force acting on a particular area how much force acting on a unit area is called pressure the definition of pressure is very simple it is force acting per unit area and how do we calculate pressure is it is pressure equals force divided by area it is the total force acting on something divided by total area if we talk about units let's let's uh, discuss this one as well p equals to f over a and it is a must that unit of force is newton and unit of area is meter square if we get these two units right the pressure will be in pascals which is newton per meter square but if you use newton and centimeter square that will be newton per centimeter square but we cannot call that a pascal okay so uh, this is one thing that you have to be very careful about that unit of force must be newtons and unit of area is a must that it is meter square if we get these two units right the unit for pressure will be pascals and very commonly used unit of pressure is kilopascal as well because normally the pressures when we calculate them we get larger numbers so we use a larger prefix to explain that pressure now here is an example this is the same box and it is placed with three different dimensions on, on uh, the table now in this case it is having a, a surface in touch with the with the table surface let me draw the table for you so, so you can understand that this is where the table is so this is placed on a table actually this is the side that you cannot see this is the surface that is in in touch with the table now actually it is difficult to to distinguish between this orientation and this orientation let's compare this one with the last one over here this one in 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 case of last one it will be something like this this is the table and this is the side that we cannot see it is hidden so this is the side i am talking about this one that is in touch with the base of the uh, this is the base of the object and it is in touch with the table surface so let's compare the second diagram with the first diagram and uh, ignore the middle one let me vanish this one magic gone now as both objects are the same object so they it is definite that they have the same force or same weight that they are exerting on on the table but in this case in this diagram over here the same weight is acting on a smaller area and in this case the same weight is acting on a larger area so which object is exerting more pressure on the base of the table or the surface of the table the answer will be this one why is it is it exerting more force nope does it have less area yes because pressure and area are inversely proportional as you can see over here in the in, in the formula as well if the force is same bigger area lesser pressure smaller area more pressure this is um, this is actually answer of many question that you can ask at this stage i i made i made a list of these questions over here why tractors have larger wheels why do you think there are enormous enormously big wheels at the back of the tractor because normally tractors have to be driven in in muddy areas in fields where the surface is very soft so larger area 
they provide they, they exert less pressure on the ground and big wheels are less likely to sink into the sand or sink into the mud or clay that is why we put larger wheels on tractor so they do not sink into the muddy surfaces why large lorries have more wheels than small lorries and the answer is again same it is uh, uh, more more wheels have more area so what happens is the force is distributed among a larger area hence less force is acting on a unit area and with more wheels we, uh, it is less um, uh, they they become less likely to sink into the soft ground so they can easily move on the road why it is easier to cut using a sharp edge of a knife than the dull side i i hope by the answers of these two you now understand why it is easier for cutting something with the sharp edge a sharp edge means the lesser contact area and when you exert the same force as force is acting on a smaller area it produces a larger pressure and with that larger pressure the knife easily say, cuts through the object but if you use the dull side of the knife it will be harder for you to even cut a piece of butter although butter is very soft but if you try to cut it with the dull side of the knife you will produce mess and the reason is that uh, the dull side has more area so when you exert force on it it is distributed among a larger area hence less pressure will be acting on the object so less uh, chances that it, this will cut through the object Okay, this is a funny example, but um, it is very conceptual. As you can see in the diagram, this is a large African elephant that weighs about three tons, and this is a partial diagram of a woman standing on two feet, wearing very sharp heels over there. Now. who will exert more pressure on the ground it, it, it let me put some some numbers on on them this is say 3000 kg that is average weight or actually mass of an african large size animal uh, elephant and this is a say 60 kg woman standing on two heels Now, elephant has four feet. Woman has two heels. Okay, here is uh, some data. G equals to ten meter per second square. That will be considering all. Uh, along IGCSE syllabus, area of each foot is forty centimeter square, which is zero point zero zero four meter square. And this woman, which weighs sixty kg, is standing on two heels. Each of uh, each one of those heel is zero point zero zero one meter square. Okay, or well, one thing that I need to correct, I think over here that area of foot should be four hundred centimeter square. It is not forty centimeter square. Let me correct that. Correct it. Now use this mass and this gravitational acceleration to find the weight of the elephant, and then use this area. and and do not forget that elephant has 4 feet so if the elephant is standing on 4 feet calculate how much pressure this elephant is exerting on the ground and how much pressure is this woman exerting on the ground okay now uh, i will recommend that you pause this video over here and do it by yourself and then resume the video and see how did i do it okay Okay, I am now calculating this this uh, pressure 
that elephant is exerting on the ground pressure exerted by elephant is equal to the force exerted by elephant which will be its weight that is 3000 multiplied by 10 divided by area now if the elephant is standing as i said in the diagram it, it, it looks like the elephant is standing on three feet but uh, i said that elephant is standing on four feet calculate the pressure exerted by elephant if it is standing on four feet so what you do is you multiply the area of feet with four okay now i will use this uh, calculator to find this one but before that let me make the expression for the pressure exerted by pressure exerted by woman it will be 60 multiplied by 10 divided by as as woman it has two heels so it will be 0 0.0001 and now we can just simply put these values in calculator and see what calculator gives them gives us now these are the values my calculator is giving me 187.5 kilopascal too many scene figures I, I i would make it 188 kilo pascal which is nothing as compared to this enormous pressure that is exerted by the woman on, on, on the ground. That is 3 million pascals actually. 3 mega pascal. Now, it, it, feel, it does not feel real. Okay? If you are feeling that, it's very obvious. But ask yourself this question. If there is a muddy surface soft grossy muddy swamp type surface very soft surface who is more likely to simply walk on that this woman with these heels or the elephant and now you might get your answer that elephant can easily walk on the soft ground and the reason is that elephant is exerting a very small pressure because of its very large feet whereas this woman will trouble in walking on a soft ground the reason is that uh, she is exerting a huge pressure on the ground so her heels are more likely to sink into the ground that is it for this uh, lecture thank you for watching